These are the faces behind a mystery that has stumped scientists for generations. They are the Moai, ancient statues of Easter Island. According to legend, these stone giants walked to their places on the island hundreds of years ago. Well, that theory may be supported by these latest pictures of excavated bodies that exist beneath the earth. Joining us now is Dr. Joanne Van Tilburg, an archaeologist who has spent decades investigating the Moai. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. What is so special about these statues? I think in part they're special because they have human characteristics, and so they remind us, don't they, of our own families in many ways. Why do you think that they were buried? It seems to us, at least from our own excavations and from the ones that have gone before, that the burying of the statues was caused not by man, but by nature, by erosion. There are so many theories as to how these giants were put in place. They walked there, aliens put them there, the Rapa Nui moved them there. Do these new findings change any of your theories? Yes, actually, our findings with these excavations have taught us that Rapa Nui people were fully capable of raising statues upright in place on flat ground. We found, for example, post holes. We found rope guides cut into the bedrock. So this is really um, evidence of very clever thinking, very um, careful planning, and some uh, fine resources of rope and uh, posts and so on. How exciting is it to find a discovery like this? Well, it's, it's probably the single most exciting activity and archaeological excavation I've ever been involved in. We were able to find on one of the statues we excavated some very, very interesting hand details. We've actually um, documented the hands on hundreds of statues, and this particular statue has hands carved in a completely unique way. So what does this mean? For us, it means that the artist, the family, the, the people involved in this were innovating, were changing. So, Doctor, when you return to Easter Island, what are you hoping to find? Well, I think the most important thing that I'm aiming to find is an, is an answer to the question of how we can preserve the statues. There are over a thousand of them, and not all of them can be saved. So our major uh, question with regard to this, this project is how and what can we do that will allow the past to be saved for the future? Dr. Joanne Van Tilburg, thank you so much for sharing your insights on Easter Island, and we look forward to hearing about what you discover on your next trip. Thank you.